If I want to set a war off, what I do is I send change agents out. One will be called Brian Jewish, the other will be called Alex Jones. On the other side of the pond, we'll have a bit of David Icke. Think of them all, throw them all in the bag, shake them up. Send them out, right? With disinformation dribbling from the fucking look, the mouths, right? Which then infect people like you who's watching the internet. So you then, it's a bit like it's the Jesus trick, I came to cause enmity. So the next thing you know, you're arguing with your missus, anyone in your life. You've just been separated through the, as I said, the only thing that separates us are our, our opinions. Yeah? But your opinions are dog shit. They don't mean a thing. They don't mean a thing. Right? The reason they don't mean a thing is because... I just got off the tram with Jamie. These two young birds had met him. Um, me and Jamie were behind them and they're walking forward and the young girl on the left pulls a coat up for no reason, the wrong direction, right? And that, to me, means a lot more than it does to your average cat. But what it, what it actually means is she didn't do that. That was an, invol an involuntary action. An involuntary action. Even if she volunteered to do it. Because she's being driven by genetics. And I think he's actually more likely to be seeing the other one. So, all them games come in. Oh, I don't want... I, I, I want to be wanted. No, we're only bits of kids. But it doesn't change as they get older. And then when you get to my ripe old age... Um, you've got a false belief that you're, in more, you're more in control. Whereas in the true reality is you just learn off bad manoeuvres. Right? In the past of your life. Right? So not be quite as stupid. No one's learning anything, basically. It's just a merry-go-round. Yeah, you can go to this spiritual teacher or that scientist and he'll explain to you about black holes. He'll put eight, cam he'll put eight telescopes together and show you a picture of one. And it's all cock. It's all cock. All quantum mechanics can't live with... Um, what is it? Black holes, basically. So someone's got to work out a way to uh, make them live together. Fuck off. It's all written in the ancient stuff, mate. Go and have a look. There. Oh, yeah, we have done. Yeah, I know you have. Now, you re spinning it as if you're smart. When you've just got it from information that you can't get your heads around. Huh? The Greeks said we got this off the Sumerians. The Sumerians said we got it off the fucking city of the gods. So don't let any of this stuff go into you and think that it's going to make you any different, any worse or any better. Because it isn't. You can do that. None of this, none of this guff out here is going to get, make you any, it's not going to help you, it's not going to help the world. Plus which, what's the world got to do with you? You're going on that the world's fucked. It's probably working exactly as it's meant to. The forces of light and dark, well, they're one thing. As I've said before. Take the good out of you, you vanish. Take the bad out of you, you vanish. 
But as the world is as it is, doesn't mean you have to be as you are. So you can have a reaction from what I'm saying and you can start to improve your life possibly because you can actually think, oh, right. By realisation that you're not in control, you can gain a semblance of control, basically. For yourself. And the leaders will just run them up. And they'll ruin everything. That's all they do. You can't have a good leader because there's too many problems. Is it by design? I haven't got a clue. There's too many problems. But you can. Believe it or not. Improve your own life. It won't be that difficult to improve your own life for most of you. One or two, I apologise. I know there's people out there fucked, and I am actually on your side, don't get me wrong. Not, I'm not pretending you're not there. But the ones I'm on about, what well, I've access to the internet. So they won't be watching this. So you're not them. You might be looking down the barrel of the gun. You can start thinking smart. A lot of people starve to death in this country because they can't swallow the pride and go and tell someone that they fucked. Do that. Yeah. See, pride comes before a fall. Don't be too proud. Don't be fuck too proud. Don't have no dignity either, but you know what I mean? Again, in there. Remember... The ones that judge you only condemn themselves anyway. It's a scummy country, as I said to a tramp the other day, give him a quid. It's a quid, a quid, have a quid. It's a scummy country. All them's levered with tramps, by the way. Cost you ten to get round it. Because you've got to give them some, otherwise you're an arsehole. That's why I don't agree with digital busting. Because busking, because when I've got your money, you feel like you're giving to charity. Because I'm bringing you the truth. And then people are going to die in alleys. Well, in shop when, you know, outside in the street on a bench. Because you walk past, because you give Kip some money. See if that, it's fine. I don't blame him, like, carry on. I hope you can become a millionaire, pal. I really do. I fucking do. Why not? You become a millionaire. That's fine. Or you be sorted. But when you're that millionaire, just think how many people have been denied charity in doorways because the people that have given me their money thought we don't have to give to tramps. We've given to a digital busker. Now there's a big problem, Kip. I'm sorry. It's a fucking big problem. Best to do your channel and get a fucking job, pal. See you on.